Hey ladies and gents, AKRX here, how's everybody been doing? Um, sorry that I had to obviously be away for so long. I have not had a chance to record any videos because I was extremely busy. I got orders to do, uh, you know, other stuff for work and you know what I'm saying, if you wanna do sh get stuff done, <laughs> you gotta work and put in a lot of effort into it and pay the bills first and foremost and then you can do the rest, all right? So, anyway, just wanted to quickly look at this article again from National Geographic. There's only a, there are a couple things. Well, one thing in particular that I kind of just want to highlight how important it is not to over sensationalize things. Well, first of all, it's a brilliant artwork by uh, Beth uh, Zeichen, and uh, I also just wanted to point out that obviously, aside from this little fuzz and the lack of the clear, you know, indication of the facial integument. Uh, I, I would say it's brilliant model and you know overall the drawing is amazing I love it it's just how I would have done it myself if I basically did so <laughs> I mean overall aside from these two things absolutely loving it Beth well done proud of you a big fan and a follower by the way on Instagram as well and Blue Rhino Studios are amazing now that we've done that giving them a bit of a shout out let's uh, get into what my problem is with the article itself now I I read this and I was like, 9.8 ton animal, are we sure that's the case? Uh, because I'm pretty sure that was not the case. And uh, this is another one of those things that, you know, it's not enough that it's only like, you know, maybe a couple hundred, maybe half a ton or something heavier than you, which still makes it around the same size overall. But I mean, like generally, yeah, it is obviously larger because it's like heavier, maybe one ton heavier, I don't know, whatever. But the point is, it's not... 9.8 tons okay so in other words the article is completely uh, you know misleading you to believing that it's bigger that it was bigger than it actually really is and uh, the simple way to check that is just to, to basically go into the uh, original publication and uh, just look at what figure they've produced and then do whatever estimates that they've done based on that so I'll be honest, the article itself is a bit like it's a bunch of mumbo-jumbo nonsense. There's nothing much to really cover about it. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, we do know that it's a, it was a bigger... I mean, I always knew that Scotty was somewhat of a big specimen, to be honest, and definitely was able to rival Sue. But uh, I would not... I mean, I would put it, obviously, as a bigger a little bit, but if we were to kind of get down into technical details of it... Because, you know, half a ton or one ton is still quite a, a bit of a difference. But it's just the bigger you get, the less these differences tend to be apparent, you know. So, like, T-Rex as an adult was already quite a big animal. But let's go here straight away um, into the paper. And the paper uh, the paper showing that the body mass is approximately 8.87 kgs. Well, basically it's uh, 8.87 tons. So plus minus 25%. So let's uh, let's get some stuff done. Um, let's try to do a percentage calculator just to be very quick about it. Um, let's go here, for example. I think that should be... A, yeah, there we go. So what is 25% of... What did they say the number was? 8, 870, right? 8870 now we calculate that's this amount here now we go to calculator we add 8870 plus 2217.5 well again this is a very big amount big margin now I mean, obviously, 11 tons, that's going to be quite a lot, to be honest. I don't expect that to be true. I always tend to stick with the average or conservative values, and I think that's what everybody should be doing. It's always better to be slightly downplaying it than overplaying it, because uh, you're just less likely to be correct with the higher-end value than you are with a slightly average sort of-ish figure. But then on a, on a lower end as well, I think it's a little bit also too much, because they said plus-minus maybe just because they didn't want to, uh, you know, be too kind of, you know, 
confident when it comes to it in the sense that you know they wanted to allow some room for errors that's just usually what experiments do when it comes to estimations and this led the, leads us to basically like 6.65 tons which is obviously too light for a t-rex specimen like this size it's actually too light for an average adult size i mean generally i would say seven and seven and a half tons is the is the least you would expect eight tons i would expect to be an average for an adult overall 8.8 .8 tons is basically on a higher end when they reach their full size maturity whatever and there are many other things that could potentially contribute to it but i would say this figure 8.8 .8 or 8.9 .9, so 9 tons at most is what i would expect for a t-rex as i always said so it's kind of within still being consistent but not 10 tons not 9.8 you know that's that's a little too much they've definitely added an extra ton or so to the estimate and i think that was unnecessary and uh, again just proves how national geographic is just trying to be more about the sensationalism rather than actually just reporting it how it is and uh, i mean everything else is just obviously just puts it under you know doubt you know the credibility of their reporting so you have to obviously fact check them i mean other than having the websites that look pretty and all that's not nonsense you know there's just really nothing more to take from them. They, I, I mean, I've covered National Geographic articles before, and y'all know exactly how I feel about them. And uh, yeah, so that, that's just another example of them trying to be a bit more, you know, emphasizing on something like, oh my God, look at this, you know, like just creating a bit of a hype, which I don't think is necessary. There's no need for it. There's no, absolutely no reason for it. And uh, I think uh, we might as well just simply look at figures as they are and just let the information speak for itself i mean why are you trying to twist it national geographic shame on you so anyway that that was my mini rant on uh, national geographic once again and uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe for more content make sure you keep uh, yourself up to date with the notification bell to uh, to receive the notifications whenever i upload a new video and also uh, make sure that you check whether you are actually subscribed because sometimes YouTube tends to have this stupid thing about glitching and uh, removing subscribers and uh, you know just want to make sure that you guys are always up to date with my content uh, I'll try to produce it more often but uh, of course as I said I got work to do as well so uh, I, this is the point where I think I'm gonna need to say that we need to start giving this channel a bit more actual support and uh, the best way to do it is if you uh, guys donate Donations uh, are accepted via PayPal. I'll include the PayPal email below in the description box. So when you when you do the donation, if you decide to go for one, just uh, you can do you can donate as much as you like, but make sure that you send it as a gift, and uh, also make sure that you leave your you know YouTube nickname in the reference, just so I know who you were, so that I can give you a shout out or something, and like maybe do something special for you as well or uh, find another way to reward you for donating uh, to the channel, like I will introduce some kind of point system maybe, and um, eventually when you save up enough points, you will be able to get discounts on my products that I'm going to introduce that I already have, or anyway, you can purchase three of my kits, you can uh, also follow me on my Facebook page to stay tuned for more kits that are coming up, and uh, other stuff is coming up as well, so we're in for some exciting, interesting stuff ahead. So uh, with that said, thanks very much for watching, and... Uh, I hope you guys take care, have a great day or evening, depends wherever you are, and uh, ciao!